we want to write the rectangular equation y equals one half x squared in polar form. Notice the equation in rectangular form contains x and y, and an equation in polar form is going to contain r and theta. To do these conversions, we'll use these equations here that relate polar and rectangular coordinates. So if we start with y equals one half x squared, we'll have to perform a substitution for both y and x. Well, x is equal to r cosine theta, and y is equal to r sine theta. So we can substitute r sine theta for y, and we can substitute r cosine theta for x. So this would give us r sine theta is equal to, this would be one half, and then since x is equal to r cosine theta, x squared would be equal to r squared cosine squared theta. And now we need to solve this equation for r. Let's start by multiplying both sides of the equation by two to eliminate the fraction. So this two and this two would simplify to one. So now we have two r sine theta equals r squared cosine squared theta. And now we can isolate r on the right side of the equation if we divide both sides of the equation by one factor of r and two factors of cosine or cosine squared theta. Notice by dividing the right side of the equation by one factor of r, this will simplify to one, this will simplify to r to the first, and then cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta is gonna simplify to one. And on the right side, notice how we have r over r, which would simplify to one. So on the left side, we have two sine theta divided by cosine squared theta, and on the right side we have just r. So we could leave the equation in this form and just say r is equal to two sine theta divided by cosine squared theta. But if we wanted to, we could also write this as r equals two times sine theta over cosine theta times one over cosine theta. Notice how the denominator still contains two factors of cosine theta, and the numerator contains one factor of sine theta, and then also a factor of two. Now one reason we might want to do this is we can now write this as a product of trig functions. We can say r is equal to two times, well sine theta over cosine theta is equal to tangent theta, and one over cosine theta is equal to secant theta. So these two equations are equivalent and both represent a polar equation for y equals one half x squared. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.